For me, I end up choosing between two main approaches, and both of which incorporate an edge loop around the ear like this. And the first method is simply fanning out from this central point, right? So if we go straight lines kind of emanating like a sun all the way around, it connects nicely into the cheek, and it seems like a good idea. But the problem that inevitably comes is whenever you try and connect with this broad topology that starts small around the ear, but then gets very, very elongated and stretched, we have extreme inconsistency. If a face is this size on the top of the head and the faces are this size on the um, front of the face, that is a tremendous difference. And so let's talk about the second approach. This also incorporates a loop around the ear. However, I want you to just focus on the general shape of the head and it's basically spherical. But instead of a UV sphere geometry, which has the poles on the top and bottom, think instead of smoothing a cube. And that's the type of topology that we wanna use here, right? If you take the corners, draw straight lines out from the corners, right? If you imagine this, it's as if you took the edges of a cube and shrink wrap them down onto the head. What's nice about this is if we draw our lines, and keep it grid-like, we're going to end up with much more uniform topology. This is going to be great for additional uh, sculpting detail. It's just very, very clean, very consistent. 